I started out with two wooden pumpkin cutouts, tumbling tower blocks, and large craft sticks. So I set my craft stick and my tumbling tower blocks up just to kind of see how far I could go with the tumbling tower blocks in order to have a nice width on the middle portion of the wagon and how far up I needed to go with the tumbling tower block. So I decided that I would go eight blocks up, but then I would double them so that I would have a nice width on the wagon in order to put little gourds and pumpkins inside. together like that and then put them on to the pumpkin halves. These sides have now dried and they will sit like that on each side. But what I want to do is go ahead and take my hot glue and add an outline of the sections of the pumpkin before I start gluing all this together. just a little bit of texture and give it a little 3D pop once it's painted. And once I was finished with the hot glue outline on both sides, I just wanted to double check again how I was going to set up the walls and the bottom portion before I went ahead and used my Gorilla Wood glue to glue everything down. to use wood filler to fill in some of the gaps because the tumbling tower blocks are not all the exact same size. Once the wood filler was dry, I went ahead and applied the wood glue to the bottom portion so that I could glue on the craft sticks. Once the base was dry, I applied more wood glue so that I could put the other portion of the pumpkin on and then move on to painting once this was dry. Uh, 
because the tumbling tire blocks aren't all perfect and they weren't all touching the top, I did want to go ahead and uh, put just a bead of hot glue on the inside just to make sure that everything stayed together. So now I'm gonna move on to my paint. And I really like the look of green pumpkin, so I'm gonna use this green acrylic jot paint that I found at Dollar Tree last year and mix that with some white apple barrel um, matte. And I added a bit more white and streaked it through on both sides just to make the pumpkin look a bit more realistic and not be one tone of green. painted the sides and the inside where we'll be showing when stuff is inside. Um, I do need to do the stem now on both sides and I'm going to use a uh, chocolate sprinkle at the barrel. ready to put the wheels on. I could glue them directly on to the pumpkin like this, but I think I want to give it a little height and really make it look like it's sitting up. So I think what I'm going to try to do, and I hope this works, is use tumbling tower blocks like um, a little um, frame for the wheels to sit on like a I don't know what do they call it like a car axle the under portion that supports the car and the tires have that like that and there's a little bit peeking out on each side and then I will glue the faux tires onto the bottom like I did on my bicycle planner. So I think that's what I'll do for this one. And just um, hopefully that works and I hope it stays. The bottom pieces are dry so now I will take my hot glue and attach these to the bottom of the pumpkin.
and squirting a bit of hot glue inside the lids. I go ahead and attach those to the bit of the tumbling tower box that are peeking out so that they can set up and appear to be wheels on this pumpkin wagon. And to pull the wagon, I'm just going to use a small piece of a wooden dowel and hot glue that to the front of the wagon and then take a piece of black wire and twist that around to use as the handle. And the final accents for the pumpkin, I think I will do a leaf on each side at the top of the pumpkin and then um, a nice scroll galvanized harvest adds a really nice touch I think to the front. And I think these final touches will do it. I really love the way this wagon turned out. It's really adorable. It's gonna look so great filled with faux corn and pumpkins or empty, just perfect for the fall. Thanks for watching.